Can you find the hidden giraffe? And this cat doesn't need glasses. It's episode 48 of IMG. Bobby Neal Adams takes a photo of a person as a child and then has them replicate the pose as an adult. He then rips the photos to fit. The effect is haunting and cool. But this is just lonely. Pareidolia is when you see something of significance, a face, a pattern, in something random. But if you put the face there, you're like gnomers. Prefer dogs? Well, BuzzFeed showed off the scariest dog pictures possible. And to alleviate your fear, here is Maddie the dog on things. MaddieOnThings.com. Name brand arm tattoos are a smart idea, and so is eating healthy. Wait, what is this guy so excited about? Hmm, I also don't know what's going on here, and okay, I guess we'll have to remove all the art inside. Thumbpress brought us a subway map of rock and roll, which genres and intersections do bands exist on. They also showed us how not to be a good parent, though a leaf blower to the face is pretty fun. Thousands of Braille products, many of which you've never seen before. These items cast the shadow of a city, and these glass paper airplanes cast a combined shadow that resembles a city on the bay. Oh, and these water bottles add definition and shading to cast the shadow of a man's face. Photographer Hal takes photographs of couples shrink-wrapped in plastic. He must act quickly or they'll suffocate. Seriously, this is real, as are these celebrity names. John Stewart's real name is John Lebowitz. Ralph Lauren's original name was Ralph Lipschitz. But the craziest of them all, Michael J. Fox. His actual original name, and I'm not kidding, is Michael A. Fox. But now Chevrolet speedometer designs from 1941 to 2011. Now where's this guy on TV looking? Mm-hmm. Well, what about him? Oh, come on. TV people even photobomb kids kissing. See? Bread shoes. Remember those scary dogs? Well, dogs and cats can also be loving companions. Enjoy. Now here's a question, how big is a million dollars? I mean, what would having a million dollars look like? According to this great study, it's only about five reams worth of paper, heavy, but enough to carry around yourself if you used $100 bills. This, however, is what $206 million in cash looks like, about the size of a king mattress. Painting on brick is one thing, but letting it drip like rain is another. Sam 3 Street Art asks the question, when you look into the sky, what's looking back at you? Now, if you're afraid of getting caught painting on buildings, do it like this. Jim Dinavan goes even larger. By driving around on a dry lake bed, very, very exactly, he manages to carve mathematically impressive circles into the Nevada landscape, large enough to be seen from space, but temporary enough to be quickly washed away by rain and wind. Mo Illusions had this this week, a blue shape that seems to tick every time the gap between the red and blue shapes disappears, though the blue shape never moves. It's caused by ambiguous figure ground segregation. Eric Tabucci went on a French-American road trip finding stores with American city names without having to leave France. Or his own bedroom. The entire book isn't photographs, it's Google Street View screenshots he took on his computer. With the internet, why go anywhere? Dabuchi also collected the alphabet from trucks. Planking is too flat. We want twists and turns. You know, like Takanori's bonsai trees. Houses. Finally, David Aday cuts pictures of people into fun little shapes and then pins them to walls to make the person complete again except in a separated kind of way. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more, and as always, thanks for watching.